Sounds like Nintendo Switch 2 is third party heaven and that is music to my ears on this Monday morning. So good morning Mario and good morning Switch fans. The Switch 2 ain't no toad. We got details on the next mainline Monster Hunter game. Tom Henderson coming in with some big knowledge on Nintendo Switch 2 and an awesome eShop game that I think we all should check out. So what's going on everybody? It's Akram Switch Force. Hope you're doing fan freaking tastic. My Lions, three and one. I don't think I've had this much football hype ever. They're freaking leading the division, 90 plus percent chance to make the playoffs, and somehow a top offense and looking like a pretty strong top defense as well. It's mind blowing. I've been waiting for this my entire life, but maybe you've been waiting for Pushmo to come back. We'll kick it off with this eShop little quick mention. There's a new game coming out called Pictopole, which is about three, four bucks. It's out tomorrow, October 3rd. It looks kind of budgety. It's made by Bearded Ants, or at least that's the publisher. Funny name, but great concept. They're basically riffing Pushmo, and we haven't got the Pushmo series on Switch at all. This was one of my favorite eShop series on 3DS. Fantastic, the handhelds, it worked amazing. You're pushing and pulling these blocks. It's like 3D physical puzzle solving. Love that kind of stuff. But for some reason, Nintendo, they brought over Box Boy and Box Girl, but they didn't bring over Pushmo. I think it's a big missing. It could have been successful in the eShop as a mid price title, but they didn't want to do it. So we resort to Pictopole. That's all I have to say. I don't know how it controls, but it basically looks like Pushmo. It's a few bucks. It's out this week. There's like 150 puzzles. It might really be worth your time and try if you remember the glory of like Pushmo and those amazing games on Nintendo's DS family of systems. Speaking of family, Tom Henderson is someone who doesn't really dip into the Nintendo family all that much. He's a very credible big leaker. He always has big stories on like PlayStation 5 Slim or GTA 6 or Far Cry 7, things of that sort. But he had a very interesting post over the weekend that read as follows. Really excited for the Nintendo Switch 2 and its tech. We'll see launching on an Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch 2, and PC a heck of a lot in 12 to 18 months. Now this is really, really good news because this is coming from somebody who has 100% sources and feelers all over the gaming industry. Tom Anderson has built up a big website inside gaming. He's had a lot of big initial like breaking scoops and he's saying he's really excited for Switch 2 and its tech, implying that he knows this thing is going to be as good as we've heard, as good as advertised, right? Like all the rumors we've heard about it being super impressive seem to be on course with what Tom has heard. And he says, we'll see launching on Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch 2, and PC a heck of a lot in the next 12 to 18 months, or in 12 to 18 months rather. So that's not in the next 12 months, but in about 12 months. So 12 months from now, we're looking at end of September, beginning of October, you're gonna start seeing a bunch of this game is launching on everything, which is something I have been just like hyping and hoping for and pushing and really believing that, hey, this is gonna be a game changer that elevates Switch 2 well above Switch 1. We got some nice third-party support and a few day and date games. But like Tom Henderson saying here, something I've echoed in recent time, we'll see a lot of launching day and date for tons of the major games, which is gonna be a huge, huge change. It's a huge change for us as players. And frankly, it's a big change for me as a channel creator. I'll be able to cover a lot of stuff that previously had no business being talked about on a Nintendo channel. I'll be able to play a lot of games that previously didn't have a lot of value being covered for you as Nintendo fans. We're going to see our options, our experiences opened up tenfold, I think. Honestly, that sounds crazy, but I love what Tom's saying here. It just reinforces my belief that day and date on Switch 2 is going to be a no-brainer and going to really just give us such an arsenal of third-party games that Nintendo fans have never experienced before. Now, one that we have experienced before, thank goodness, is Monster Hunter. We got Monster Hunter Rise on Nintendo Switch, and it was stellar. At the time it came out, it sort of revamped the way Nintendo handled their multiplayer online on the back end, and it was fantastic for that. Amazing graphics, and just a great co-op game, as well as a big journey with epic battles, and seemed like perfect for Switch. Like, it was a game that was third party, and Capcom did their job. They did their duty to make a good looking, good running, good playing, very fun Nintendo Switch title. Now since then, Monster Hunter Rise has been ported and it's got a bunch of DLC, it has a big expansion, it's very successful, yes. But everybody is ready for the next mainline Monster Hunter. Some would argue that Monster Hunter Rise maybe was a sidestep. I don't think you can make that argument in good faith, like fully, maybe a little bit, but Monster Hunter World 2 is what everybody's kind of waiting for. Monster Hunter World was sort of the come-to-Jesus moment for this franchise. It's big, 
worldwide popularity debut where everybody was like, oh, this isn't just a weird game that super niche people are into. This is like incredible. And it really became a popular mainstream game, one that I loved and really entered me into the Monster Hunter universe. Necrofleep is someone from Nintendo Leakage over in Brazil. He works for Nintendo Universo. He's had a lot of scoops that have panned out correctly about directs, about upcoming games, and about Switch 2. He comes in with a good one, saying that the next mainline Monster Hunter will be released on Switch NG, which is code or shorthand for Switch Next Gen until we know the actual title of the system. Next mainline Monster Hunter, and this is very interesting, not just because like, okay, the next mainline Monster Hunter should be a big deal on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S, and hey, you, you bring it all together, Tom Henderson's thoughts, it's going to be on Nintendo Switch 2 as well. But what's interesting here is that whole idea of Capcom having a major title launching before the end of the fiscal year. I'll touch on this one more time briefly. You can go back in past videos. I've, I've really gone into detail before, but basically Capcom's financials said, hey, there's a big game releasing that is going to sell millions that should be out by next March, and we have no idea what it is. Could that be the next mainline Monster Hunter game? Now you'd say, well, Switch 2 isn't out by March, but Necrofleep isn't saying that it's launching day on date on Nintendo Switch 2. He's just saying that it's launching on releasing on the next Nintendo Switch next gen as well. So this could be a case where if it does come out preceding the Switch 2 launch, well then the Switch 2 just gets it on launch day. Now, that would be later, perhaps, but it's also kind of like one of the sickest launch games you could have. A brand new, huge, awesome looking, awesome playing, great graphics, great performance, Monster Hunter mainline title portably is freaking sick. And getting that in concert with a 3D Mario, maybe a Metroid Prime 4 port, something of that sort, this could be a huge launch. I think, I'll go on record here, quote me on this, I think Nintendo Switch 2 is going to have Nintendo's best launch lineup ever. And I know Switch 1 was pretty strong specifically because of Tears of the Kingdom, but if you recall, outside of Tears of the Kingdom, it was a little soft. 1-2 Switch, Snipper Clips, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe came later. Many of the top titles you remember from year one came later. I think Switch 2 has a very high chance of being Nintendo's strongest launch lineup ever, primarily because they will have major third-party support unlike they've had for any other real console launch. Also, launching with a mainline 3D Mario is something they haven't done since 64, and that will help prop this up to a level and a hype that maybe we haven't seen. And if they do have a 4K port of Tears of the Kingdom, if they do have a 4K version of Metroid Prime 4, if they do have a workable, playable, smooth version of Scarlet and Violet, along with some other Nintendo games, some new games, and third parties, and maybe a big indie or two, this could really be a case where you get the system and on day one you have too much to play. That's not something we've been able to say before with Nintendo launches. Oftentimes they're a little slow. The Wii U launch did have solid third-party support. That ended real fast and it didn't really have a major first-party game. It had new Super Mario Bros. U, it had Nintendo Land, but there wasn't really anything that wowed us in the way that Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the Wild did with the Switch and a 3D Mario could with Switch 2. So this is amazing news about Monster Hunter being released on next-gen Switch. I don't think it's that like crazy of a leak, crazy of a rumor. It feels very, very likely, especially given Capcom's support of the Switch, even when it was a little engine that could. Now, given the Switch, we'll have much more power on Switch 2. Capcom has been very successful at, at propagating their titles all over the industry. Monster Hunter on Switch has already found a huge audience thanks to Rise and the past titles. Getting the mainline one there is awesome. And so getting big third-party support, a la Tom Henderson, getting Monster Hunter, a la Necrofleep, this is shaping up to be super well. We just need a dang announcement. Give us something, Nintendo. I'd love to see a teaser in 2023, even if we don't get the big reveal until 2024. And that would sort of fall in line with what Nintendo did with Switch 1, so never say never. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you a Pushmo person? Are you pumped for the next mainline Monster Hunter? Most assuredly coming to Nintendo Switch. And now that Tom Henderson is saying big day and date, third party, everything's just launching on Switch 2, do you believe what I've been trying to tell you for a few weeks now? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. And until next time, Switch Force out.